Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can use a no an 100 chart to add any multiple of 10 number to a two digit number. Okay? So, let's I'm going to do this one and another one to show you and then we'll do two together. Okay? So 14 plus 10, I'm going to start by looking 14 in my number chart. Okay? And it's right here. Okay? I'm going to mark it so I know what I'm doing. Now, because I'm adding 10, I can do it two ways. I can count one at a time until I get to 10. Or I can just go down because I know that every time I go down, that's a whole group of 10. Okay? So if I go like this, that's 10 more. See? And I can verify that by counting one at a time. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See? So every time you go down, you are adding 10 more. So when you add 10 more to any two digit number, you go down. Okay? And you always start uh, counting from the number that has the ones okay if the number has zero ones that's the number you're going to use to count down because it's easier okay i'll show you another example okay so 14 and 10 more or 14 plus 10 is 24 okay now let me show you another example where the number is not 10 but it's a multiple of 10 of 10 a multiple of 10 means that is and the number ends in zero, okay, and is counted by tens, okay? So here I have 52 plus 40. I'm going to start with 52 because 52 has two ones. So it's easier for me to, to start with this one and just count four down, okay? If this number was 19, if this number was 30 plus 19, then I will start with... Uh, 19 because 19 has nine ones and 30 has, has zero so any number that has more than uh, zero ones that's the number i'm going to start with so i'm going to look for 52 there it is i'm going to mark it and then it says plus 40 that means this is four tenths so i had to go down four times i had to add four groups of 10 okay so there's one, two, three, and four. So 52 plus 40 is 92. And I, you can count by tens this way too. 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. And this is the easiest way to do it instead of counting one at a time because that would take me forever, right? But I know that every time I go down, that's already a group of 10. So 52 plus 40 is 92. Okay, are you ready to do some with me? Okay, so here we have 27 plus 30. So I, which number do you think we should start with? Should we start with 27 that has two tens and seven ones? Or should we start with 30 that has three tens and zero ones? If you say 27, you're correct. We always start with the number that has more than zero ones because it's easier to count your jumps down when you have no ones, okay? When you only had to count the tens, okay? That's why you leave the multiple of 10 to count your jumps, okay? So we're, look with me for 27 in the number chart. There it is, very good. And then I'm gonna look at my number right here and it says that it has three tens. So that means I had to add three groups of 10. So I'm gonna jump down three times, okay? Can you do it with me? Okay, do it with your finger and then tell me what number you got to. And then we'll check if you, we get to the same number. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do one jump, two jumps, three jumps. That's three groups of 10. 
and I got to 57. Did you get to 57 too? Good job if you did. So 27 plus 30 is 57. Awesome. Do you want to do an, uh, another one? Let's do this one. Okay. 49 plus 20. Okay. Now, which number am I going to start with? Should I start with 20 because it's smaller? No, because it only has zero ones. So it will be easier if I do that one with the jumps. So I'm going to start with 49 because 49 has nine ones. Okay, so look for 49 in the number chart. Point it to me. Good job. Now, how many jumps am I going to do? It says that 20 has two tens, so that means I have to add two groups of 10. So how many jumps? Do it with your finger and tell me when you, where you end up. Are you ready? We're going to check together. Let's see. One jump, two jumps. I ended up in 69. Did you end up in 69 too? Very good. So 49 plus 20 is 69. Two groups of 10. And there's another way to look at this if you don't want to use your number chart, which we're going to do tomorrow. But you can just look at 4 plus 2 and think, oh, I know was that 4 plus 2 is 6. And then I know that 9 plus 0 is 9. So I just copy the 9, see? So the only thing I have to do is add 4 plus 2 and then copy the ones. Okay? Now get ready to do some on your own.